So now that we're in the design studio, you can use all of its tools and options to start customizing your t-shirt. And the first ones we're gonna take a look at are how to upload your own image and how to use clip art from our library. Start by clicking add images and we'll go through the steps of uploading your own image first. You can upload just about any image file as long as it's smaller than 10 megabytes. Choose your file from your computer and once the preview loads, you'll get a few options. First is this toggle to remove white. If you're uploading an image with a white background, this is great. Turning this on will remove it and let you build your design without that big rectangle behind your image. And don't worry if it looks a little imperfect here, our art department will go through by hand and remove any unnecessary backgrounds. The next step is to select the number of colors in your image. And like we mentioned in the last video, this has a direct effect on the total cost for screen printed orders. Digitally printed orders aren't affected by the number of colors. Lastly, you'll either select to have the colors in your design matched as closely as possible to your uploaded image, or to select from colors in our palette. The colors you select get passed along to our art department so we can make the changes. Now you can resize and move it around by clicking and dragging, or by using these sliders to the right. By default, the proportions of your image are kept the same, but you can turn this off by clicking this lock. These few other tools let you center your image horizontally and also change the layer order when you have multiple objects on top of each other. One final thing to remember when uploading your own image is that once you've uploaded it, it's stored in your account and you can always add it to another design by selecting it under My Images. Now we're on to adding clip art from our library. Click back on Add Images and head to the clip art catalog. Here you can select from these main and subcategories to find an image or you can search by keyword. Now you have all the same tools to resize and move around your design like we saw before. And with clip art, you can change each color individually and it will immediately update on your shirt. You can keep building your design using a combination of uploaded images and clip art by just repeating these steps. And when you do have multiple objects, you can click and drag over them to edit the size and position of these elements all together. A few other tools you'll want to know about are first, the zoom tool, which lets you get up close when you're fine tuning details. Next, copy and paste that you can use by selecting and then right clicking on an object. And of course, switching to the back to view and add a design there as well. The first tip that's important to mention is that you really want to try and select the most accurate number of colors when you're uploading your own image. Because the total number of colors in your design is used to calculate the price for screen printed orders, this will make sure that you get an accurate quote before adding the design to your cart. If you're instead going with a digitally printed order, your total color count won't affect pricing, but it's still a good idea to try and get the number right. If you're unsure about any of this, just contact us and we can make sure you've selected the right options. That brings us to our second tip, which is to be mindful of how many colors you're adding to your design. This will keep screen printed orders within budget, but even for digitally printed orders whose price isn't affected by color count, it's still generally a good idea to keep t-shirt designs to a focused color palette for the best looking designs. One trick you can take advantage of is to remove a color altogether by using the shirt color swatch. This lets the shirt fabric show through and it's a good way to cut out an extra color and make your design look more integrated with the t-shirt it's on. Next up, we're gonna take a look at how to add and customize text in your design right here inside the design studio. 